So how do we do an ERA, that is an endometrial receptivity assay and understand that period of implantation or that window of implantation for a woman to give her a successful pregnancy outcome in IVF. So what we normally do is for us to be able to assess this, we prepare a woman on how we would normally prepare a transfer cycle. So there are two ways of doing it. One you can either do a natural cycle transfer or you can do a, a hormone replacement therapy uh, transfer. So how do we do a natural cycle transfer? We will give the woman oral ovulogens uh, for about 5 days, ask her to come back in about 10 days to assess her endometrium and follicle growth and based on that we will start progesterone and do the biopsy. If we are doing a hormone replacement therapy cycle, we will start uh, hormones that is especially estrogen on the day 2 of the cycle. Estrogen can be given for a period of 12 to 14 days. We will ask the woman to come back, we will check the endometrial thickness, we will do a few hormonal assays and then start progesterone. And once we start progesterone, we will plan the biopsy in about after giving 6 days of progesterone. And then we, when we do the biopsy, the lab which does the endometrial receptivity assay gives us specific vials and they also need specific amount of the sample tissue to be able to do the study. And usually the analysis takes about a week, 10 days for, for us to get the report. Based on the report, it will tell us also what we may have done wrong in the previous cycles. So sometimes we may have prepared a woman in a specific way, but her implantation uh, period would have been a few days before or few days after we had planned the uh, transfer. So based on this endometrial receptivity assay, we are able to identify that specific period on when it, her endometrium is most receptive and then based on that we can plan her subsequent transfer cycles accordingly.